today, but I didn't fold them, so I'm just gonna take it out from there. I usually try to pick my outfits the night before, but I came home after dance and a student council event, which obviously happened after a full day of school. So I was exhausted. I just needed to get my shower and my homework done, so I forgot to. But I have an outfit I'm gonna change into now. My stomach is hurting this morning, so I'm moving a little slower, but I still have about half an hour until I have to leave. I usually don't leave for school until around 7.15, but I have a class meeting today at school at 7.15. I packed my bag, put a snack in it. I'm going to put my shoes on and then I'll be leaving. Well, this isn't like an everyday morning routine, but this is kind of what I do when I have to leave early as someone who's really involved with Stuco and other things. I'm in my mom's car. It is about 12.30, Sunday, September 17th. Do not have a vlog going. I'm just filming this and I'm gonna try to find a vlog to pop it into or a different video because I'm so excited. I am going to an event that NYU is running to meet with an admissions counselor in person, which is exciting because I live in Michigan, so they flew some of their counselors out. NYU is one of my top schools, especially for out of state. It is a dream to live in New York City. I have wanted to live there since I was like five or six, so. My dreams are becoming real. It is like a week and a half later from the NYU footage. I'm actually waiting for my sister to get out of school, but I never checked in after I went to the admissions event. It went really well. The two admissions counselors, advisors, I don't know what they're called, were super nice, super helpful. There was some information I knew from my own research, but there was a lot that I also learned. There are so many options for study abroad and traveling. The people I met were amazing. Everyone was just so motivated and no one there seemed like they were forced to come by their parents. Everyone seemed really excited to be there and I love being around that kind of energy and I love being around people who work hard and have that kind of same drive as me. And I feel like a lot of times in my day-to-day -day life, I'm not surrounded by people like that. So it was almost kind of shocking. There there's just so much to do there, but two problems have kind of arisen. One is that it's crazy expensive at NYU and they do not give a lot of merit scholarships. So I would have to receive a ton of scholarship money if I was accepted from other places. There is a man standing outside of my car on his phone. I feel so fortunate to be in a family where we're financially doing well. With that, I'm not going to get any need-based scholarship. But I think the American college system is odd because you can hit that threshold and still not have $40,000 a year to drop on tuition fees. So that's problem A. Problem B is I don't know about my transfer credits. If you watch me for a while, I am taking dual enrollment through my high school at my local community college and I am taking APs. So between the two, I should have enough credits to graduate with an associate's degree from the community college I'm taking those classes at. The problem that I'm finding with a lot of colleges is that it's a case by case of whether I'm considered a first year or a transfer student. A first year because obviously it's my first year actually going to college. So sometimes it gets weird because I have all of these credits that are too much for a first year, but I took all these credits while I was still in high school or I'm a transfer. There's pros and cons to both. New students also tend to receive more scholarship money. So that's a problem. I have to call and talk to an admissions counselor there for my one-on-one -on -one situation because if they won't accept my credits, then I will not be applying, which makes me really sad because NYU is such a dream, but I'm not knocking it off my list forever. I've kind of decided that I'm gonna go for my master's degree. So it's like I would be in college for a regular four years, but I would just get an extra degree on top of that. 
So maybe I go somewhere else for the next two years to finish up my undergrad and then I apply to NYU as a grad student. I'm trying to apply early action to as many schools as I can if they offer that. So that's kind of an update on where I'm at with my college admissions process. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry it's kind of all over the place with like the morning routine and then the whole college admissions talk, but it is what it is. I'll see you guys soon. I love you.